No wonder I couldn't hear anything. I didn't have the fucking thing plugged in. Twat. How's it going? Eman 47 sonicleasecom Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thank you very much for joining us. And in today's video, I'm going to show you real quick how to export stems in FL Studio. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our, our mix laid out. Obviously, I'm just doing this as an example. These aren't proper sounds. The only sound I've got in here is a piano. That's pretty much it. But this is the layout we're going to have. So we know that FL is going to export from the very start up until the last element inside of the playlist. And in this case, this is it. There's nothing else there. But if we want to, we could always, if we've got snap setting sounds, push right click and then drag. And that part, that whole area from there to there in this red area is what's going to be exported so we've got all of our elements set up we've got our mix done all the rest of it and now we want to export out for stems so now we want to take a look at the channel rack we've already got all of our stuff separated onto separate layers as you could see in in the playlist if you have got all your stuff onto one layer and you do want it as a tip you could just right click and go split by channel and that will split everything by channel whatever they're named up that's what a new pattern will be called. Instead of going through manually and choosing these, you know, one, two, all the rest of it, and then having to rename them within the mixer, what we can just do is if we just click on the one that's selected, it'll highlight them all, or just double click on any empty one and it'll select them all. And then you want to assign these to a free mixer track with those names of the channels, just hit Control L. And now that'll bring up the mixer. And as you can see from track one all the way to track eight, and it's labeled them exactly as we wanted to. And even if you have colors like we did here, this is a bit of dark shade. It's done that on the mixer as well. So if you've got color coded, it will do the same all nice and quick, easy peasy. Real nice. So what we now need to do is we've got everything sent. We've got all our effects. Everything's done. Our mix is done. Now we want to export. So to bring up the export options, we can push control R, go to FL packs. And I did make a test. There we go. Here's our test one. So we'll call this um, test track for argument's sake, that's what we're going to call it, whatever the name of your track is. And you see this little, so obviously you've got all your, your things already set up. You want to export in WAV, 24-bit stereo. Um, resampling quality is up to you. Um, FL Studio recommends 24. You can go with what you want. So what we need to select here is split mixer tracks. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to split those mixer tracks all separately so they've got their own separate stems. So all we've got to do is click that. That now exports out and as you can see the folder has opened up where that test is and it's labeled everything so we've got a test track 808 bells so this is why it's important to name everything so you know what everything is um it gives you a master track it gives you a current track which is the current track that we were selected on which would have been the master again so we can just get rid of that because we don't need that so we've got our 808 our bell let's just correlate to them we've got a 808 bell we've got a clap hi-hat kick we've got a master perk piano and snare happy days so that should then be in the folder i selected test and here they are so if the only one that was real was a piano you see if i drag this into the playlist there we go there's our piano as a full track stem of that length that's exactly what we wanted so that sums up exporting stems in fl studio nice quick nice and simple all you got to do now is zip them up send them off to your artist your collab and producer or upload them to your beat store job done once again if you like the video please hit that like button if you've got any suggestions please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more content coming soon